The Deering Banjo Company is a story about living an American dream. Hi, I'm Janet Deering. Greg and I were born to parents who came to San Diego in the 50s as aeronautical engineers. The Deerings from Minnesota and the Millers from Arizona. Both our fathers in their own ways taught us woodworking as children. Greg's dad with building model airplanes, my father, by having me help him add on to our house. In 1970, Greg helped to establish the American Dream, a guitar-making co-op in Lemon Grove where he did musical instrument repairs and built banjos. Having built his first banjo in college in 1969, Greg played music around town with a musical group called Deering Learned and Prim Prim, the last names of the band members. He also ran the youth group at Pioneer United Church of Christ, where he met me one evening we stayed late talking about our goals. I had been taking wood shop and crafts classes at Claremont High and wanted to create a career making something that would be passed down through generations. Greg told me he wanted to make banjos. We found that we both shared the common goal to have a family business. A few years later we married. I was 19 and Greg was 23. We lived in Washington DC for a year while I finished up a two-year commitment working for the Church of Scientology. Then we returned home with our new baby and soon we went into business. I applied for our business license when I was just turning 21. We started in our home with no money, grew a garden, raised chickens so we would not go hungry. We made a pact with each other to never quit in business but see it through. Greg and I built banjos and I drove to music stores to show the banjos and take orders so I had to figure out how to put food on the table and sell and make it work. We raised two healthy children in the process, a son Jeremiah and a daughter Jamie. Essentially we raised our business and our children together and our kids had ready-made jobs so they could earn their own money every step of the way. They were part-time on the payroll from the time they were little. As long as they wanted to work there was always a floor to sweep and as they got older, banjos to build, they learned the real value of work. Having a common goal and sharing the same religious beliefs, we had a strong foundation for family business. We started with a written plan and actually worked out how to reach our goals. We wrote down the steps, assigned who would do them and by what time. This action sped up our progress greatly, then we didn't give up. If it didn't work, we figured out a way that would work and made a new plan. Every failure was another lesson learned in how not to do it. Soon we figured out successful actions and wrote them down so that we could train others. We were the first banjo company to grow to our size, so there was no business model to follow. The key was help keeping our focus on our goal. If we could see the top of the mountain, we knew we could find our way there. I could see the cross on Mount Helix from our home on Kenwood Drive, and it inspired me to find a solution to every problem, there was always another way to get to the top of the mountain. As long as we kept looking for how to reach our goals, we found a way there. But it didn't happen overnight. Becoming the leading banjo maker in the world took persistence. It wasn't like a TV show where everything gets resolved in 30 minutes. It takes what it takes. We've been at it nearly 35 years. Lessons learned? The darkest hour is just before dawn. When things seemed the gloomiest, if we didn't give up, usually success was right around the corner. It felt like we were being tested to see if we deserved the kind of success that was coming. But success was not always measured in dollars. It can also take many other forms. Friendships, achievements, pleasure moments, recognition, the ability to help others and to change lives for the better, and to help society. We have a strong purpose to keep America strong. Greg has been a scoutmaster for more than 20 years with the Boy Scout Troop 355 at the Santa Sofia Catholic Church in Spring Valley. I'm the Troop Scout Treasurer and the High Adventure Leader of the Troop, and we both find great reward in helping others. Greg and I belong to the Church of Scientology of San Diego, whose aims are to create a civilization without criminals, without insanity, and without war where the able can prosper and honest beings can have rights, and where man is free to rise to greater heights. The technology of L. Ron Hubbard does work and helps people lead happier lives. Ron Hubbard was an Eagle Scout. As Ron did with Scientology, Greg and I do with banjos, and that is deliver more than you promise. Greg and I feel strongly that it takes every one of us to create a better world and a strong and ethical America. We believe that through manufacturing valuable banjos in America, we are contributing as part of the backbone of America through industry to keep America strong.
teaching people how to make things and do quality work, and through scouting, teaching young men valuable skills and how to lead successful lives so that they can become great leaders of the future. Starting with nothing, Greg and I worked steadily and persistently and built quite a life with the Deering Banjo Company. And so we have lived and are living the American dream here in San Diego. Thank you.